Chu brought those proceedings, those member states all ceased those practices. So there were some serious problems in the Microsoft microprocessor context. The commission addressed them seriously and the member states changed their practices. So the problems can be addressed, have been addressed, and I would suggest in the software context, the problem still exists to a significant extent and they should be addressed. So now let me mainly look towards the future. The, the topic of this session, session is supposed to be basically to make suggestions to governments. So I'm going to make some suggestions which are not solely but largely forward looking and largely suggestions for what might be changed in the existing legal situation. First, and this really relates to the existing legislation but what should be done about it, based upon what everything I've already said, it will not be surprising to you that one of my first suggestions is that brands specifying particular brands in the context of public tenders should be very seriously limited. Very rare should be the occasion when a brand should be included in a tender. Secondly, um, it should be very rare that compatibility with existing public systems, existing software systems or other IT systems, uh, it should be very rare that that should be allowed to be used as an excuse for continuing to acquire products from a single vendor. Governments have, as I think Commissioner Cruz indicated, a public obligation to consider alternatives, to consider the long-term cost benefits of considering alternatives, and not to be subject to inertia, not to take the lazy way out of sticking with what they have, but to consider alternatives um, and to move forward on that basis. Um, thirdly, uh, and this is of course a topic which has generated quite a lot of discussion in recent years, but I would very firmly suggest that government authorities should adopt policies that establish a clear preference for open standards public procurement. It seems to me that the EIF draft of July 2008 was a good one in this regard. Um, to be very frank, we have seen substantial, um, uh, let us put it, let me see how to put it, substantial lack of progress or perhaps backward progress, backward motion with respect to the EIF. I, I'm blunt, but that is definitely what I regard to be the case and it needs to be better. It needs to go back to something like what it was not so long ago. Um, and these principles need to be formally established in public procurement legislation in Europe. Um, and in that context, if there is going to be a formal requirement that governments procure 